Well, it is Christmas Eve. Ugh. And I am running on less than two hours of sleep. Oh. Um. My brain would not shut up, so I did some writing. Um, I'm redoing a story that I've had in the works for a few years. Um, I decided I didn't like where the story was going, and so I'm turning around, I'm redoing the characters, and mm, about 60% of the plot in the story. So I've got to start from scratch. Um, some things will stay the same, a lot of it won't, so I'm going to be redoing eight chapters. Yeah. Um, I currently have a migraine from hell. Um, my hair is a complete mess, hence why I am wearing a um, hood. So, uh, yeah. Um, Ah, oh, that, and I'm guessing my move to uh, my friend's place will happen sooner than I um, anticipated. Um, I won't really delve too much into the details of that. However, that's whoosh, up in the air. Um, I will probably have to go over there later this week, because... The 27th, there's two members of the household returning to to the area through the airport on the same day within hours of each other. So I was like, um, <sighs> I have taken a migraine pill, finally, like, well, let's see, I went to bed at six. Woke up at just after 8. I didn't actually fall asleep until after 6.30. So, um, called around, made some calls for insurance so I could possibly see about getting my car. Um, most of that will be dealt with on Wednesday rather than today because Christmas, blah, blah, blah. Uh... It's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and here I am yawning. I'm stretching, because I'm trying my damnedest to stay awake so I can actually start having normal hours. Like a normal sane person. Oh my god, what's that concept? Um, <laughs> That's beside the point. Uh, hmm. I've had a very interesting morning because I did the whole insurance thing. I popped back on to uh, a chat I normally hang out at and uh, proceeded to pretty much smack down someone who thought they could try and lord over me, which was very interesting and entertaining. There's this individual on the chat who is only 17 years of age, yet he acts like he's five-year-old with attitude problems, as one other member put it to me in a private chat. Um, and I have been told by an administrator to um, keep tabs on this individual and to report when there's any sort of problems with this particular individual, which this was the perfect example. I mean... I don't know what it is with this individual, but uh, we'll be talking about seeing somebody's boobs and blah, 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 blah. Um, good example was the other day we were talking about seeing a certain anime character's boobs in high def because they've been recently, the creators of this anime have been coming out with uh, um, 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 movies to like recap each season, which I think is kind of retarded, but that's just me. Um, nobody was attacking in any form this individual. No one was insulting this individual. And yet he turns around and calls me a moron. Just 
out of the blue, no rhyme or reason. There's there's no method to it. I didn't even know he was in the chat until all of a sudden, oh, hey, you're a moron. I'm like, what? I sat there and I um, kind of looked at him in the chat and he's like, yep, I said it. And I was like, wow, okay, we're going to go down this road. And so I sat there and I said, you know, someone who goes around name calling is actually pointing out their own faults in others. And he was like, what? He had like, he had like a set of four question marks. I'm sitting there. I'm like, if I have to dumb it down for you, that pretty much rests my case. <laughs> and I dumbed it down for him anyway, generally saying that the first person to call someone a moron is ultimately the moron. And he was like, I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not. I just started laughing. The other person in chat was just like, oh, wow. You know, I, I, I don't know whether to like give you props or be scared at the fact that you act so much like your character that you portray. And I was like, just, just have a low tolerance for bullshit. And, um, I replied to the individual. I was like, take it as you will. Compliment, insult, you can take it as you will. And he turns around and he says, oh, well, I really hate being insulted. And I just let it rip. I was just like, what a hypocrite. I was... <laughs> so this individual has been on my um, shit list and in less than a week's time has ultimately become the enemy of the entire chat. And the entire chat is totally backing me, which is quite hilarious because the certain individuals that are actually backing me up are actually individuals that uh, we really don't get along. And it's like, wow, when somebody I don't get along with or they don't get along with me says, go you, you know, it's like, whoa, this is kind of like, everyone does not like this individual. The admin has told me to keep track, um, actually to log all records of any attitude problems with this particular individual and to report to them. So I am doing as uh, requested and hopefully this issue will be resolved in due time. Um, the audacity of some people just amazes the fuck out of me. <laughs> ah, it's, 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 it's. I'm, I'm appalled. I have no words for it. Um, so, and the funny thing is, is the, today, before today's spat, um, after I got done with the insurance, I hopped onto the chat and stuff started. But right before it started, I was sitting there saying, you know, I've got the migraine from hell. I need to go off and get me some medication. Well, this individual started his crap as per usual, ran him out of the blue, you know, um, literally trying to attack me in chat and, uh, then sitting there telling me to turn around and get a sense of humor. And I'm like, what? When you're actually attacking and insulting me, you're telling me to get a sense of humor. Um, that doesn't kind of work because nothing you said was phrased in any way like a joke. Um... But I never actually managed to go get that medicine that I needed for my migraine and um, took three and a half, four hours before I was actually able to actually finally get medication. <sighs> so I have a butol in my system. The migraine is slowly easing. Um, I no longer have to wear a blindfold over my right eye. Um, I'm just not going outside. It's way too damn bright. Um, yeah, and I'm eating applesauce because for some odd reason, I've been really nauseous the last few days. So um, I have been forcing myself to eat because I barely feel like I have an appetite. Um, so yeah, I'm just listening to a lot of Lindsey Sterling music. Um, in fact... I'm in the middle of Shadows, next is Transcendence, and then Electric Daisy, which is Shadow and Electric Daisy are my two faves. Um, so is the Dubstep Crystallize one, that one's a good one. And the Elements. Transcendence, not so much. Mm, kinda. Um, anyway, uh, happy birthday to my grandmother. 
Um, happy birthday to Jill, who is a very awesome lady that I met on the Amtrak train on my way back from Mississippi. Both of their birthdays are today on Christmas Eve. Um, to those of you who actually view my videos, Merry Christmas. Um, I don't know if I will be making a post tomorrow. I didn't figure I was going to be making a post today. Um... And if I don't get to it beforehand, Happy New Year's, and uh, let's get some resolutions going. See y'all later.